So here are the few steps to the silk press that I did on my daughter. I did a protein treatment first. Um, you can get it any size. It's just something I choose to do. I do it every six months on her. And it's my first time ever straightening her hair at all. So um, it should look like this. You pour it on. It's very, very sticky. As soon as you pour it on, you need to brush through it and leave it alone. It gets really hard. And if you brush after it gets hard, it can break her hair. So rub it thoroughly. Pour it into sections. And then blow dry it. Don't touch it while you're blow drying it or don't try to, you know, move it around because it's going to get really hard. Like I said, <clears throat> and it does stink. I'm going to let you know. It's pure protein, but it's really good. You'll definitely see a difference. Um, but if you brush through it or try to touch it or anything like that, it'll definitely break. I use cashew oil for the roots. This is optional, just something I do. Warm it up and put it on the roots. After it's super hard, you kind of like make your finger way, make your fingers way through the roots. You know what I mean? Shit. But like I said, don't rush through it. Just blow dry or this is what'll happen. So now it's super clean. Um, hard, I mean, we have it hard, but it is clean. Now we're gonna rinse it out and wash it out. So now that's all washed out, um, I use this oil. It's a heat protector. Spray it all over. Um, it's very healthy for the hair. She's all natural, of course. It's our first time ever trying it. She's five years old. So, yeah. But I do the protein mm -hmm. treatment once every six months. So now I'm straightening it. Sorry, I couldn't. It was hard for me to hold the camera and do it at the same time. But now I'm straightening it with the blow dryer. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shea butter that I have. I only had a little bit, a friend of mine gave me a sample. It was like $15 a jar, so I was like, uh-uh. But I needed it, so. Use a little bit, put it on, mix the dry oil. Not too much, because it will look oily. But just a little bit on the palm of your hands, running through, and then you kinda re-blow dry and trim the ends, if you want to. I'm trimming her ends, and what you're gonna look for in trimming is the light spot. You can see how you can see her shirt, through her hair that's the part you want to kind of cut off so while I'm doing that I got that done I put setting lotion on her edges when I say this works the best for laying the edges down when I it is the best better than any type of edge control sorry my son was holding the camera right here you only want to go through twice never go through more than twice um, make sure you have the comb following it and should give you body. I had to turn my heat down because you can see it's smoking and it's not supposed to smoke like that. So for her, I did 300, but never go over 400 on your curling iron. But you can already see it has the body to it. Yeah. Now I went ahead and took the little thing off. You see how her smooth her edges are? Super slick. No edge control. No gel. No flakes. And there it is all flat ironed and it has body by itself without it being now i do feel like i use a pinch tad bit much of too oil too too much oil but that's okay in a few days it'll wear off now she's going under the dryer now i got this little blow dryer for the beauty supply it was only ten dollars i literally just bought it today it hooks to my blow dryer and that's that. Sorry, y'all. My nails ain't all done. It looks all ratchet, but whatever. So I'm taking it off. I had to use bobby pins to hold her, her together. I'm taking the bobby pins off and brushing it down. And this is the results. Here are the results. Hey, 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 hey. Turn around. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, hey